How we doing today guys? Sam back with you with this week's fishing report. So um, let's start off with the rockfish. They're closed unfortunately so folks looking to go target those you're not able to at least here in the bay. If you head down towards the coast I believe the season is still open there but not up here where we are. Um, so moving on from that we're talking about white perch. So most of the folks um, just finished up on the eastern shore on the spawn over there. Those fish have started to work their way out of the, the headwaters down to more of their early spots before they head out into the creeks and rivers for the summer. So they're not quite at the headwaters. They're just kind of in that in-between zone. So it is a little bit tough for shore access for those, but if you have a boat and you can put it in some of those uh, upper reaches of your rivers up there, the chop tank has a lot of access and Denton and whatnot. Those are more areas I would be at than the headwaters right now because they finished up their spawn. However, on the western side, it's a little bit different. It seems to happen a little bit later here. We have some deeper water. It takes a little bit longer for that to warm up. Um, so areas on the western shore that have been okay have been Wayson's Corner. Uh, that's always a popular area to target. I haven't heard as much from Beechwood. It's kind of been a tough season over there, but um, you know, those fish come up real quick and then they leave real quick. So it's definitely not a bad idea to go over there and try and hit it right. Just might take a few trips before you finally find them over there. Uh, so moving on to catfish, that's what I think most people have been doing lately. It's, it's a tremendous fishery right now. Anywhere here north of the Severn in the upper bay is going to give you a good shot. Your areas from shore like the uh, Jonas Green Park and Sandy Point have been very productive this week. We've been getting in fresh LY relatively frequently. That's always going to be your best bait, but also you could catch them on so many different things. Um, we have fresh shrimp that works well for it, cut mullet. Any sort of cut bait really that you place on the bottom with a big enough circle hook to hook them, you got a pretty good odds at catching a few. So other than that, uh, the shad fishery. Um, shad has been doing pretty well. Some of your high water areas on the eastern shore, uh, headwater areas have been doing pretty well. I know there are some folks catching some up at Red Bridges, uh, but most folks have been going over to the upper parts of the Potomac and Anacosta River and fishing areas like that. Uh, they've been doing really good at Fletcher's. Uh, it's starting to slow down a touch, but there still are some being caught. So that's a great fishery to go check out right now. Uh, and I think that just about wraps it up. So thank you guys for stopping by and best of luck out there.